All right, hello everyone, welcome back to my Grand Turismo 5 playthrough. Let's go ahead and use that Volkswagen that I put a lot of money into last time and hopefully win the European Classic Car Championship. Only two races. Nice. Now let's just hope I don't get blown away. Of course, it's possible that they would have Ferraris and such as those are Italian and European. I think they were, were around in the 60s and 70s. Uh, so who knows? I don't see anything like that though. I don't know. I see some other golfs. So if they're willing to use it, surely I have nothing to worry about. It's like a Mini Cooper there. Mini Marcos GT. A112 Abarth. That's the one that we didn't buy. Oh, please tell me that this will be easy. I'm worried. Alright, uh, so far so good. Uh, not such a great turn, but the good news is I appear to be faster than these guys. Which is very, very good news. Should be passing these guys pretty quick, too. Yeah, look at this. Alright, this will be easy. Nothing to worry about. Good. Oh, almost uh, did something stupid there. And it's a tight turn. Apparently buses and taxis take this lane. I'm going the other way. So this will be a fairly short lap. Maybe. Oh my god. Oh yeah, we already passed the lap marker. I didn't even realize it. Minute six. Pretty short, which is good. Go, 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 go. Leaving them in the dust. It's no competition, pretty much. One of these days, I'm gonna, or one of these times, I'm gonna screw up that turn, though. Like, really badly. But I still don't even see him yet. I like that. I like that a lot. What would happen if I went down there? Would it be like an automatic disqualification, or would I just be screwed and they just wouldn't tell me? <laughs> Not that it wouldn't be easy to figure it out. If you're still going while it's down there, then you're screwed without them telling you. <laughs> I like these signs that warn you when the turn's coming. Not in the sense that it actually helps out, because it doesn't, because I just use the map and the driving line. There's just a nice little detail, you know? So I wonder, do they u actually use those signs for traffic, or is it just for the race? That was a pretty bad turn, but not so horrible that they're gonna catch up with me. And the rest is basically a straightaway. Basically. A little bit of a curve, but nothing ridiculous. Go, 
the, the A bar, the other one that we could could have gotten, or maybe not, could have got. Yeah, the other one we could have gotten uh, is way down there. So I guess we made the right decision in not buying the A bar, or however you say that. I'm assuming it's A bar. I could be very wrong. All right, what's the next course? The next track? Full-blown showdown for famous cars of decades past. Cote d'Azur. Uh, no, I've done this track before, but I don't know if I've done it in this playthrough or outside the playthrough. Guess we'll see. Hmm. I don't even recognize it. I, I recognize the name. Oh, wait, I think I might know which one this is. Maybe. We'll see. Cool looking buildings. I don't know. Alright, just give me control already. I'm not sure I recognize it yet, but we'll see. Hey, you get out of my way, or, you know, stay in my way get rear-ended. I'm just rear-ending everybody. Yeah, I don't recognize this one at all. But I know I've done it because I've recognized the name, pretty sure. I don't know. Oh, get in front of you, thank you. Use you as a wall. Look at that. It's only two laps, too. Nice. Oh, I recognize this part of it. That's it. <laughs> That's all I recognize is this tunnel. Probably means I've only done it once or so. snaking pattern there. Serpentine. Stands. Oh god. Oh man. That was a crazy turn. I didn't like it. Go. And the first lap went fairly well. Fairly well. Could have been better, but I'm pretty far ahead. I'll take that any day. Palm tree. Country are we in right now? Can't remember. Cote d'Azur sounds like French or something, but I don't know. That was a bad turn. But aren't they always? I don't win pretty, ever. It's usually pretty rough, but 
it's good enough to win. No, I'll say it again. That's a, all. I'll, I'll take it. That's all I'll go for is getting the win. Just cut across that. Oh god, no, you can't. Holy crap! Go, 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 go! God damn it, go! The acceleration is not so hot on this car. I almost screwed up there. But I think we're good. Behind me. I don't like this. Oh, go. And I think we're good. Look at that. I'm actually, five seconds slower than my first lap. Hey, look at that. We're level 12. AMG Driving Academy Intermediate. Not like that one. I not like that track. The Nurburgring, whatever. Awful. Kubel Wagon Type 82, 1944. That is an old car. I want to see it. And can I? I can use that. Actually, for the other one. Uh, of course, it could be a piece of crap, especially since it is from 1944. But you know, we'll see. We'll see what its stats are. See what it looks like. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Uh, well, we might as well just use it now for now. Hey, look at that, we got a trophy. That's one I don't even have on, on my main profile, actually. I'm guessing it's for a car older than 1950, is my guess. Of course, it could be even 69, because I think the oldest car we have right now is 76. Oh, I don't have it sorted. Earn date. Is that one I want? Yes, it is. Acquire a car manufactured in 1959 or earlier. It's crazy. Alright, what are your stats? 224, it's pretty low. Well, here's what we'll do, we'll go ahead and sell this. I don't really need it anymore. Of course, I'm not going to get like, what, 5,000 credits for it? It's not even. That's kind of ridiculous, so you can put 100,000 credits into a car and not get any of that back when you sell it. That's, I, I don't agree with that. But let's let's see what we can do with this car. See if it can even compete. I'm gonna waste 18,000 credits here. I guarantee you that even putting this much in will do nothing. 30. Let's shop around a little bit before we go buying anything. Let's see what the biggest. Yeah, that's already 239. 32. That doesn't have anything, apparently. That apparently doesn't do anything. Thirty-six. Twenty-nine. Two fifty-four. That's good. I like that. Thirty-eight. 
Alright, so let's go ahead and get that then. And this will be 259. 268. 268 right now is the highest. Yeah, I, how come these have stats now, but not last time? Doesn't make sense to me. 270. Alright, so 270 is what um, the best. Go ahead and get that. And let's see, I can get that. 280. Still the highest. Let me still get that. 284. Ah, uh, no, that. All right, 284, which was this, I believe. No. What was it? Was it an engine? The ECU tuning? That's 280. What was 284? Must be Oh yes, this. Alright, now let's see what we can do with the rest of this. There's nothing cheap here. Engine, we got the ECU tuning, which can give me up to 294. It's almost that's almost 300. Oh, I can't get that. Uh, 289. 290. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this then. 294. Uh, so let's see, get this and the catalytic converter, but only one of them. So that goes to 298. And this goes to 299. Of course, I could do this. And, oh, you know, I'm going to do it anyway. This goes higher anyway. 299. And then do this sports filter. And make it even higher. Let's do this. Oh god, I just wasted a bunch of money. It's not gonna work. I can tell you that right now. I wasted a lot of money. A lot of freaking money. Go race event for historic cars from 1969 and earlier, along with the classics. Circuit de la Sarthe 2009, no chicane. Spain. Whoa, it's France actually. Crazy looking track. I've never done this one. Oh man, I'm scared. Don't have skylines and crap. What year was my skyline? My Japanese one. Or my Japanese one. They're all Japanese one. But the the one I used for Japanese classics. The uh, what year it was? Was it, it might have been an older car, which means I may have screwed up in selling it. Crap. That sucks. Especially since that means they're definitely going to destroy me, because I remember that car being pretty fast. That. Ridiculous. 
and see if I can even remain competitive. I like this interior look. Oh man, they're pulling away. Oh no! I wasted all that money. Only one lap. Maybe I can... Jeez! Maybe I can pull out a miracle. Doesn't look like it though. So the advantage is I can take these turns fairly fast because I'm going so slow. <laughs> they have to slow down and will probably slow down more than they necessarily have to. But it doesn't look like it's helping me any. I don't want to have to do another race 25 times in a row just to get some money to buy a stupid car. I could do special events which give you a crap ton of money each, but I don't want to have, I, don't, I want to do it in order. I want to do all the A-spec stuff and then the B-spec stuff and then the license tests and then the special events. Or maybe the special, ten, special events and then the license tests. I don't know. I gotta do A-spec and B-spec first. I have to. Low CD like that. This thing barely reaches 60. And every time it reaches 60, it slows down. I, that's really weird. That hits 60 and then it slows down. This is a crappy car. Looks cool though. Get it from this angle. Racing helmet. Good news is there's only one lap, so I can't get lapped. It's a long lap. Alright, you know what? How far? Like, they're really hard, far ahead of me, so I'm just gonna quit. I could get some credits, but it's not worth it. That's gonna take too long. So it doesn't even list a credit amount, so I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure you get something, but still. That sucks. That really sucks. I wasted 18,000 credits. <sighs> Story of my ability to play this game. I have made plenty of poor choices. Wouldn't you say? Let's just go ahead and have anything? No. I didn't sell that piece of crap for 3,000 credits or whatever, I'll, or whatever I'll get for it. That's my guess, 3,000. Oh! <laughs> awesome! Alright, well I don't feel so bad about putting so much money into it, so I at least got it all back. I guess because it's a rare car, get some money for it. Well, that helps. Let's go ahead and look at what we can get now. 1969 or earlier. Oh, I can get that, that, uh, the, oh, I might, I might be gone, but that charger. The old charger, last time I saw. I don't even know if there is anything from 1969 or earlier here. I've seen so far as 19. Ah, oh, see, there it is, but 19 freaking 70. And there's that one again, but again, really expensive. Alright, uh, I don't even know what profile I'm using here. I don't know if there even is an. Just sign in. Uh, oh, yeah, this one. You know what? Never mind. I'll not do that one. So, maybe I'll do that on my own time. 
Well, I don't think I can get anything old from dealerships, right? It's all brand new stuff, right? Maserati. Uh, if I were to go to say... Gran Turismo, what's this? Oh, racing carts. Interesting. And then... These. Yeah, these are all brand spanking new cars. You know what? I'll just... Yeah, alright. Uh, I'll be back some other time with, hopefully, a new car. So I want to thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time.